Oh, what the hell is that? That, my dear friends, is a John Deere water pump. Weirdo. Engine driven gear pump. Not a valve pulley driven one, but an engine driven one. And this is where she fits. Down here, just below the uh, below the injector pump. And here you have your stereotypical John Deere six-cylinder engine. Uh, I think it's a seven and a half liter. It's been around for a long, long time. I guess uh, they've had different horsepowers. This one is 150 horsepower, but I think the new ones are well, around the 200 mark. There's various ones you can get, but they're all computer controlled nowadays. But this one has the good old fashioned direct uh, rotary injection pump manual. No computers to work the uh, the engine on this, although there are computers to work the uh, the link arms and stuff, which I prefer they weren't there, but anyway. So yeah, so the old girl let us down the other day. It was not too bad. She's done over 8,000 hours. And ran, it had a, the original water pump on, which finally gave up the ghost. Yep, came into the yard on Monday morning, and there was a big pool of water under the tractor. So, Monday happened to be a holiday, so nowhere was open. Ordered a, well, phoned around to try to get a pump Tuesday morning. Nobody had one in stock. There must be tens of thousands of these six-cylinder John Deere's up in this area. No, nobody had one. John Deere dealers, <laughs> forget them. They carry nothing. So anyway, we ordered one, promised us overnight, so that would have made Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon, nothing showed up. Didn't show up till Thursday afternoon. So here we are, Friday morning, putting it in. It did come overnight. It just wasn't the night that we were expecting. Anyway, while that was going on, while I schmuzzle are waiting, I managed to... Uh, to fix the rear lift cylinder on this thing it was puking oil out it's a fantastic design John Deere spent a lot of time working out how to make it as bloody useless as possible water gets in here and <clears throat> sits between the dust scraper and the oil seal and rusts and if you're unlucky and you don't use the tractor for a long period of time the cylinder will rust into position and this one thankfully it wasn't it was moving but oil was puking out so anyway <clears throat> decided to uh, to get that fixed while I was doing it and you know John Deere prices $110 for a seal seal a scraper and two wearings yeah, priced one out for a new Holland for the new tractor, $38. So, thank you, John Deere. Really love you. And at the bottom, there's a really nice arrangement for fastening it on. A huge extension to the casting. And then this stupid thing. Right, so you take the bolt out here. It's a long bolt. It goes right inside the rear axle. As soon as you take that out, oil starts pissing out. Okay, so that's not too bad. You can take this big washer off, put the bolt back in, and that will slow the, water, the oil down. So then you gotta get this off. And this thing is a tight fit here on the bottom of the casting, so you gotta try to drive it off so you can get the cylinder off to work on it. I thought I'd be clever and uh, leave the cylinder where it was, and I just pulled the piston out the top. And I had it sitting there and I thought, oh, I'm doing really good. And then I realized I'd have to clear a whole bunch of rust out of it. And the only way to do that was to use a, uh, uh, a little sander on an air tool. So while I was thinking about how to get it off, the bloody cylinder tipped over and spewed half a gallon of oil right on top of my head and all down my front and back. And oh man, so... Yeah, John Deere, thank you very much. 
and I called you a lot of names. But anyway, once that was done, that was good. That was a an afternoon of buggering around. Yeah, would rather been in the track to work in the damn thing than fixing. Um, I was at a farm auction a couple of weeks ago. I managed to get a set of duels for this tractor. Which means it performs in the field a lot better. And if you can see them. Yeah, they're a big wide 38 inches, 20.3, 20 20.8 by 38. Um, it didn't come with all the fittings. I had to cobble something together. The weld uh, some eyes onto the existing wheel flange bolts. And then we got these long J bolts. There was lots of those, but they were too long. So I made up some spacers like this. I suppose I could have cut them and threaded them, but I didn't want to because I might use them for something else later. And uh, it's easy to cut bolts shorter, but it's a hell of a job to make them longer. <laughs> 